Hello everyone, welcome to our new vlog. In this vlog, we're going to talk about the pre-wedding rituals we had in India. It's going to be a little different than the other vlogs you've seen before, but yeah. hopefully you'll enjoy it as well. Yeah. The first ritual started one day before, I think, the wedding. Yeah. It was the Mehendi. It's called Mehendi. It's basically like the henna, where they put the henna on like my arms. They put it like all up to this. They call I it think. tattoos also. Yeah. Some people call it tattoos. Uh -huh. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty much a tattoo. But it's like a little hurtful <laughs> when it's drying. Because you have to like rub it off and it's like... If you have hairs like I do, like tiny hairs, like normal, normal hairs. Mm. Like as you're scrubbing it off. Oh my God, it's so painful. <laughs> But and it the, looks so cool. And the entire process was what? Two to three hours? I think so, yeah. Yeah. And we picked like an easy... An easy design. Yeah, but we ended up paying more to the guy. <laughs> and I didn't realize how much he asked for. I just gave him money. Yeah, because I remember you even said like, Oh, let's do this one. And I was like, how long is that going to take? Yeah. I mean, it's basically the preparation of the bride mm -hmm. uh, night before. Mm. So you start with the mehendi ceremony. I asked people uh, if it had a meaning or something and everyone told me like, no, it's just for beautification. I was like, okay. Yeah, <laughs> just to make it look pretty. Uh -huh. Yeah. There may be some other significance too, which we don't know that deeply, mm -hmm. but it's a it's a ritual in a in an Indian wedding mm -hmm. to make you look pretty and they say the darker the color mm -hmm. the more love you have with your significant other right well mine didn't have that much darker okay. so I think our love has faded <laughs> no. our love has faded no. looks like how are you feeling hola I'm tired <laughs> it's drying out it looks really good <laughs> that's your feet Free feet pics. What? <laughs> Free feet pics. She just want to take it off. <laughs> Looks good. Yeah, that was the first ritual we started. And I remember next morning, we started the second ritual, which was the Haldi ceremony for you. Okay, yeah. Basically, the turmeric paste, which is uh, spread over the skin of the bride. So generally hands and legs and face. And one by one, all the family members including obviously your, your parents as well mm -hmm. it's it's the close family yeah it was pretty good i saw your family getting emotional yeah it was a moment i almost cried <laughs> yeah and my family they were so happy seeing you in indian outfit yeah Putting oh yeah that's you. also another thing in the henna like we didn't know that we had to like that i had to wear like an indian outfit I asked you, remember, like, do I have to wear something? And you, and you were, were like, no, it's okay. I was like, so simple because we went shopping that day, I think, yeah. for like some main, some wedding stuff also. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna put some uh, samosa and jalebis mm. for the guests and ourselves. Mm. So you can see the process of how they make jalebi and samosa. Mm -hmm. They'll make it fresh. They they'll make also samosas fresh. Yes. Oh. Yeah. So this is for samosa. Look at that oil. <laughs> it's all black. <laughs> yeah. okay. We don't we don't talk about bad things. <laughs> Churros indios. <laughs> no, so I was like, eh, let's just, okay, yeah. whatever. But I asked you and you were like, no, it should I should be I'll, okay. Yes. So <laughs> I asked my mom uh -huh. and there's a certain costume you wear yeah. for that ceremony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they put the the floral jewelry on you yeah, for the ear and for the head. And, like and then they put that uh, red thing, which is uh, sort of like a dupatta, we call it, mm. to cover your oh, head. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you were wearing a t-shirt and then yeah. my mom was uh, he mad was, he at He was my, yelling at you. And then my mom, she was mad at me or my sister-in-law. No, oh, she should be wearing that costume. Where yeah, is yeah. it? I was like, it's too late. <laughs> you know, they already put the mehendi on yeah, her. Yeah. 
So it's okay. Just t-shirt is fine for now. <laughs> Sorry, mom. Yeah. In the holly, I asked your mom personally, like, do I have to wear a, like an outfit, like a specific mm. outfit? Mm. She was like, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So I wore like a, the yellow one. Yeah. Because it was like turmeric yellow. Matching, matching. So I was yeah. like, <laughs> they gave you a bunch of outfits to pick from. Yeah. And I think that's so the one. So yeah. elegant. <laughs> Looking like a mom. <laughs> so the haldi. For people that don't know, I read and I saw like in series or whatever that it means like purification or something mm -hmm. like that, like yeah. to start your married life or something. Yeah. So it's basically washing all of your sins and there are multiple reasons. <laughs> That's number one, to make you look pretty mm. because turmeric has the cleansing properties, mm. right? So if you put turmeric on your skin, you let it dry and then you wash it, your skin gets cleaner and it mm. shines. Yeah, after that, we, you guys took us, like my family and me, to mm -hmm. the hotel. Mm -hmm. So I could get ready there. And basically I just waited <laughs> yeah. for hours. <laughs> Since uh, her family was already there, Typically in an Indian wedding, there is a groom's family mm -hmm. and there is a bride's family. Yeah, yeah. So both of those functions or ceremonies are happening in their own places, mm -hmm. right? So for example, let's say if you were an Indian girl, mm -hmm. so you are with your family already. So you will start their ceremony, you will start getting ready and then I'll be doing sort of the same ceremonies at my home. Mm -hmm. That's how weddings usually take place in India. But since she was already there, so... We try to give them a sort of that feel. <laughs> so that's why, you know, after after Haldi ceremony in the morning, uh -huh. we sent your whole family to the hotel. Mm -hmm. So you have your own space, mm -hmm. you get ready. And while I do my rituals with my family, and then I'll come with my family, come get you. and. But it was also so like we wouldn't see each other, no? I think. Yes, yes. Like with the outfits and all. Yeah, exactly. That that was the main reason. Mm -hmm. Because, yeah, I mean. Yeah, it's you, like any wedding. Yeah. <laughs> you shouldn't see the bride before you get married. Exactly. <laughs> so it's a, it's a surprise, right? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Plus also if you are in my house already and there's guests coming in, we are getting ready, they see you, they see me. Yeah, it's like, okay, why do uh, we okay, go to that okay, place? Okay, like what's the surprise <laughs> now? Because the... Most excitement is for it's for the people to see the bride. Mm. This is what I've seen. Mm. And obviously from the groom side you have your family there. But everyone is so excited to see the bride. Mm. Because the outfit and your jewelry and the you know henna on hands and feet. Mm -hmm. It's it's really beautiful. Yeah. So it amazes people. Yeah, it looks amazing. Like I was amazed <laughs> as well, you know, after seeing you in that costume. Yeah, yeah. So it was Okay, but that's another another blog. <laughs> yeah. So after you guys took me to the hotel, I like the makeup and all the outfit, I waited like for hours. <laughs> yeah. Because we were told that we were we were supposed to be ready at like five, five thirty. Five thirty five. Uh huh. Yeah. So I was ready at five yeah. <laughs> and the makeup artist, she told me like, oh, put on your like outfit mm. so she could take pictures and also, and also so I wouldn't ruin the, the hair and the makeup with the, what, when putting on the choli, that's the name, right? right? Lehenga choli. Lehenga choli. Yeah. The lehenga, oh my God, it's so heavy. It is so heavy. <laughs> so yeah, I just waited like like this yeah <laughs> yeah the plan was to be at the marriage hall around what 6 p.m mm -hmm. right but there are certain rituals at the groom's house we started off with the tail chona uh -huh. all my uncles all the families from my dad's and mom's side i would be sitting in front of uh, a small picture mm. which is basically a god so I'm seeking blessings from the God in front of all the people. So while I'm facing the, the picture, all of the people, they'll come one by one and they have uh, uh, the grass in their hand. So basically it's a bunch of grass. Mm. So they'll hold it, they'll dip it in oil and then they put it on my head. Mm. So people come on and on and on. So, they'll so it's like that. blessings. Yes. Oh. Yeah. 
it's called tail chona tail means oil chona means like uh, something that spreads right mm. so they give me blessings in front of god that you know we wish you happy married life yeah yeah and you know for prosperity and good health and all that after tail chona they did the haldi ceremony so haldi they did pretty much the same what they did to yeah, you yeah. they put the haldi on my hands on my face and my feet mm-hmm. and uh, after we did that i have to take shower and get ready yeah yeah my costume is called sherwani uh-huh. and then it has a hat and sword and sehra mm-hmm. right so my uncles need to be there present so i can start getting ready mm. so it's performed by my uncles from my mom's side okay right my mom she has a lot of brothers and we were reaching out to all of them like guys what's going <laughs> on it's too late already just come yeah so like in weddings i feel like there's always something that happens yeah no matter how good you plan yeah there is something that's just it's like out of your control yeah that so just so just yeah make the most of it it always happens something yeah. would just throw off things and then you can't do much you just have to get going yeah. and just yeah, you know yeah yeah we were waiting for the uncles they came i started getting ready and then they put sehra on me sehra is basically that uh, that goes on my hat and mm-hmm. it has a strings so the significance of sera is nobody can see me mm. nobody by means you oh well right? i still couldn't <laughs> yeah so they put the hat on me and the this is sera basically covers my whole face mm. and that is also performed by the uncles so i have to wait for my uncles to put the sherwani on me yeah. and put the hat okay. and then sera and everything mm. so that they had to pretty much like get you ready that's, like yeah. dress you and yeah without them there's no getting ready oh no <laughs> and <laughs> what if someone has no uncles <laughs> well if someone has no uncle then there would be someone representing like brothers yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that may be like extended like uncle cousins. from cousin side mm-hmm. or someone yeah they showed up late and everything was pushed by i would say an hour and a half hour. something like that and then after you got ready i mean you were like fully ready shoes everything you headed to the hotel it's not done yet oh <laughs> so the car was ready outside uh-huh. so my brother drove me to the hotel the band was there oh right so the family my aunts my mom dad all the sisters they want to dance yeah it's a party exactly <laughs> so i got ready i was like okay i'm ready i'm going to sit in the car and just drive Let's straight go. to the hotel yeah. right but that didn't happen as planned yeah and cuz obviously it's a wedding so as you start moving out of your house you get in, inside the car there's mm-hmm. a band so they play drums and uh, that took another half an hour 45 minutes outside the house yeah So, I was like no it was in ha- an hour and a half it was more <laughs> I would say at least 2 hours yeah. yeah so you know that that uh, push was there like you know I got ready then I have to get in the car but that took like half an hour 45 <laughs> minutes why because people want to dance yeah because it's it's uh, it's a wedding right yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> so people were dancing and that took and I was like guys hurry <laughs> up because I had honestly my excitement was very low at that point yeah 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 because uncle they showed up late and then these guys are da- dancing they are enjoying the wedding while i'm sitting there i was like <laughs> just wait oh, up let's go yeah <laughs> so we left the house mm. and then we reached the marriage hall mm. hotel taj and then we had the hall ceremony also mm. that's called ghodi mm-hmm. ghodi is basically it's the procession okay when the groom with the entire family goes to get the girl exactly okay. the so, bride yeah the bride but ghodi wasn't there because it was scheduled it was scheduled <laughs> for 6:30 pm and we got there at 7:30 it was so late <laughs> and <laughs> at the, that point i was like what the hell was going on and ghodi which is the horse because i was on um, in the in a room where i could face like outside like the main street and you can see what's going on outside i could see outside. all the people there and no movement i was like why are they and they coming here <laughs> yeah so the ghodi ceremony we were scheduled to be there at 6:30 uh-huh. we showed up at 7:30 and then we couldn't find the guy yeah and then my brother he was calling him and walking around the yeah, area yeah. to find where the dude is that took almost 45 minutes Me? oh my god <laughs> while i was sitting in the car yeah i think we started around 8 
Yeah. That guy showed up and then obviously I got off the car and then I sat on the ghodi and then there's people want to dance again. Yeah, there's yeah. a band. And even your dad is like, let's go, let's go while dancing. <laughs> yeah. And that took almost half an hour to 45 mm-hmm. minutes to get to the main gate of the marriage hall. Yeah. There's a traffic, people walking by, the cars coming in. So you have to be slow and, mm-hmm. you know, safe. Yeah. And however it was, what, like 50 meters from where... Yeah, we, it was so cool. So I was like, why are they taking so long? From where we parked the <laughs> car to the main gate. Anyways, that happened and we started the ceremony around 8 p.m. Mm-hmm. Reception. Yeah, that was pretty much the wedding prep. <laughs> it yeah. was very chaotic, but it was really... What's the right word? Like, interesting? Like, fun? It, it was nice to learn, like, another culture's, mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. rituals and... But I know in terms of uh, time limit, it was too much because yeah. in the end we felt like, oh, we couldn't enjoy that much. Yeah, actually. Because we were caught up in so many rituals already and by the time it was all done, it was midnight and we didn't have enough time yeah. to have fun. So, yeah, that's about it. We'll talk about that in the upcoming vlogs and yes. we'll get more details. We hope you enjoyed this one and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.